Hello everybody, welcome to Spoken English Online YouTube channel. We are going to learn about the tenses with the structures. You know that the tenses are three types, present tense, future tense, past tense. Present tense, it has four types. The first one is present simple tense or simple present tense. The structure for this tense is subject plus V1 plus or V1 plus S form plus object. Here examples, I eat an apple. You eat an apple, we eat an apple, they eat an apple. He eats an apple, she eats an apple, it eats an apple. Here, verb 1 alone, it is used by the subjects like I, you, we, they. And the verb eats is used by the subjects he, she, it like third persons. And the second tense in this present tense is present perfect tense. Present perfect tense. The structure for this tense is subject, have or has plus V3 plus object. You know the same subject here from I to it is used there. And here we have two helping verbs like have and has. Have is used by the subjects like I, you, we, they. And has is used by the subjects like uh, he, she, it. Examples. I have eaten apple. She has eaten apple. You have eaten an apple, it has eaten an apple, like this. And the third tense in this present tense is present continuous tense. Yeah, present continuous tense. The structure for this one is subject, am, or is, or are, plus v4, plus object. Am is used for the subject only I. Is helping verb is used by the subjects like he, she, it, and are helping verb is used by the subjects like we, you, they. I am eating an apple, she is eating an apple, we are eating an apple. You can like, you know, you are eating an apple, they are eating an apple, etc. You can use like this. And the next tense is present perfect continuous tense. The present perfect continuous tense, the structure is subject plus have been or has been plus v4 plus object. Have been is used by the subjects I, you, we, they. The helping verb has been is used by he, she, it. If you take the examples, they are like this. I have been eating an apple. You have been eating an apple. They have been eating an apple. He has been eating an apple, she has been eating an apple, it has been eating an apple. Here has been is used for the same subjects, he, she, it, as well as have been used for the subjects, I, you, we, they. And second tense is past tense. It also has the same four sub tenses. The first one is past simple tense. The past simple tense structure is subject plus v2 plus object here the verb is in second form second stage v2 form in the previous tense we use the verb eat that was v1 we are using here v2 ate eat 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 eating so i ate an apple you ate an apple we ate an apple they ate an apple he ate an apple she ate an apple it ate an apple the verb only 8 is used here, only V2 is used for all the subjects. And the second tense in this past one is past perfect tense. The structure for this tense is subject plus had plus V3 plus object. Here we are using the same subject from I to it. The helping verb is used here is had and this is used for all the subjects. And the verb is V3 here. V1 eat, V2 eat, V3 eaten. So let's take example. I had eaten an apple. We had eaten an apple. She had eaten an apple. It had eaten an apple. Like this. And the next tense in this past tense is past continuous. Can I guess the structure? Yes, the structure of this past continuous tense is subject plus was or were plus v4 plus object. 
here also we have some two helping of the first one is was the second one is were was is used by the subjects like i he she it in the past and were is used by the subjects we you they was for singular subjects and were for plural subjects example i was eating an apple and here for plural we were eating an apple he was eating an apple you were eating an apple she was eating an apple they were eating an apple like this and the next tense is past perfect continuous tense the statutory subject plus had been plus be for plus object here like a past perfect tense there had plus v3 here had been plus v4 had been is used by all the subjects like examples hi i had been eating an apple you had been eating an apple we had been eating an apple and vice versa like this so we use the same helping verb had been for all the subjects that is had been and the third tense is future tense till now we have discussed present tense and past tense now we are going to enter in the future tense it also has the four sub types simple perfect continuous perfect continuous the first one is future simple tense or simple future tense with this the structure is subject plus will or shall plus v1 plus object so will or shall used by different subjects but these just everybody every subject is using only will so let's take an example i will eat an apple you will eat an apple they will eat an apple she will eat an apple so there is a small difference between this will and shall shall indicates the action that will happen very soon i shall go now it means what is he is going to start now will indicates that the longer action that will take after long time i will become an as officer i don't know when exactly i will become so will indicates the longer actions now the second tense is future perfect tense the structure is subject will have or shall have plus v3 plus subject same like you know uh, the future simple tense here uh, i will have eat an apple you will have eat an apple they will have eat an apple he shall have eat an apple it will have eat an apple you can use the same one helping of will have for all the subjects here etc and the next terms in the future is future continuous terms can you once again try to give the structure for the tenses a here it is the structure for future continuous tense is subject plus will be plus v4 plus object here we using will be helping verb that indicates the actions are happening in the future by the time so we can use here i will be eating an apple she will be eating an apple by this time you will be eating an apple they will be eating an apple it will be eating an apple that refers the action that will be happening in the future we assume as it is not actually happening or will happen we assume the action will be, will be happening in the future by this time and the next tense is future perfect continuous tense which is the last terms in our session the structure subject plus will have been plus be for the subject you can also write here shall have been here we do the same like this i will have been eating an apple you will have been eating an apple we will have been eating an apple they will have been eating an apple he she it will have been eating an apple so friends by seeing this video by seeing these structures you write your own examples and apply in your life just become the master in the tenses as the tenses are really like backbone to the english language so thank you very much for watching this video and um, for more details for more videos please subscribe to the channel youtube.com spoken english online thank you very much